Hey everybody, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and we have a new Humble Bundle of interest to game developers. This one is the Learning Game Coding and Development Humble Bundle. It's all about a collection of um, basically game development courses from Zenva. As always with Humble Bundles, if there is interest to game developers, I buy them, let you know what you're getting, if it is worthwhile value for you. Uh, the way it works with Humble is you buy them, buy the high dollar value tier, you get all the tiers below it, you decide how your money is allocated between charity, between the publisher, between Humble, and if you so choose, thanks so much if you do, to support Game From Scratch. So without further ado, let us jump in and take a look at what this bundle is all about. Now Zenva courses have been featured in previous Humble Bundles. As always, check your purchase history to make sure you haven't already got this bundle or the pieces of this bundle you are most interested in. Um, from my brief look at my Zenva account, it looks like I haven't already got everything in this bundle. So uh, you do want to go ahead and check out that you've got it. So we're going to look here first at the, this is $1 US tier or $1.50 Canadian. It'll be localized to whatever your local currency is. Uh, we have five courses. The first one is the Godot, Godot Game Development for Beginners course. I know a lot of my audience, that is probably what they're interested in. We've got a couple of Godot courses in here actually. So Stay tuned for that. We've also got Introduction to RPG Development with Phaser. That one has definitely been in the in the bundles in the past. Uh, introduction to Game Development with Unity. Uh, create your first 3D uh, game with Unity and Unity 2D Projects Super Plumber. Hmm, I wonder what that's inspired by. So really, at the $1 tier, if you just want to put your foot into the water, you've got a pretty good representation here. You've got Godot, Phaser, Unity, uh, 2D, and 3D, all kind of beginner-level courses available there. Let me jump up to the next tier, and we're jumping up a fair bit to $22.14 Canadian, which my guess is means about $15 US. And at this point, we've got C++ programming for beginners. Learn Python programming by making a game. Build an RPG adventure in Phaser. Uh, build a micro-strategy game. Uh, introduction to multiplayer game Development, Battle Royale, Multiplayer Projects, uh, Humanoid Animation Tools for Beginners, and Develop a Puzzle Platformer Game. So in this theory, we're getting a lot more specific. Things like Platformer Game, uh, Battle Royale Game, Multiplayer Games, and so on. You know, if you want to drill down on any of these, kind of click there in the little uh, question box. You see what you're dealing with here. So obviously, this is a Unity game. I don't know why they didn't put that in the highlight, but a lot of these are going to be Unity unless otherwise mentioned, such as here. Obviously, this is Phaser. And here you see we've got Python being represented, and we got C++ programming programming being represented. So we got a pretty good gamut of courses being covered at this point in time. And then we're finally getting to the last tier, $34.50 Canadian. My God, the Canadian dollar sucks lately. Uh, that would probably be $25 US. And I, I am weeping on this end, by the way. Uh, we get create a 2D RPG with Godot. So we got another Godot course in there. Uh, we've got another C++ one, learn C++ by making a text-based RPG. That's actually a pretty good way of learning C++, to be honest. The, the learning curve with C++ just kind of goes off the chart when you start getting into the linker and graphic libraries and all that stuff. So that's, that's a good way, good kind of middle ground place. Um, the complete blender course, the real time strategy project unit movement, uh, the complete procedural terrain generation course, uh, easy AR or augmented reality and marker based apps for beginners. Of course, that's going to be Unity. RPG multiplayer projects, turn based uh, game multiplayer projects, player authentication with Azure Playfab, Playfab being Microsoft's recent uh, online services. Um, I'm going to cover them at some point on this channel. Uh, then we've got Applied Computer Vision with Unity and Azure, uh, Tile-Based Math Game Project, and finally Unity Cinemachine for Films and Games. Pretty good collection of things going on here. Uh, the charities in this case is Partners in Health and um, International Medical Corps, although you can pick your own charity at checkout. So, uh, you know, don't let that really discourage you if for some reason you, you hate any of those charities, which I guess, okay. Uh, so again, we got a pretty good collection here. We got a couple, we got two Unity courses. I think we got three Phaser courses. Uh, we've got two or three C++ in there. Uh, things like multiplayer, we got Python. Pretty good broad gamut of stuff here. Now, normally the way this works is I show you the purchase page and the file formats or whatever you're gonna get everything in. In this case, it's a little bit different. The way this actually works is you get a code uh, and basically the top barrel code gets you the whole you know, top tier three everything thing. So it, it, you basically have to just redeem the one code. And that is going to be the humble game. So if you bought the $25 US one, you get the humble game development bundle tier three code. Uh, you redeem it and you go in. Now, one thing I did find is if you already have a Zenva account, what you're going to want to do is go over to Zenva, log in, and then come back over here, go through the redeem process. But then you come in, you do a buy it now. It brings you to the purchase page. You can see it's $1,200. And then you're going to throw in the code and $1,200 is going to become zero. And then you're going to check out. And that's really what's all that's involved in the redemption process. No need for a credit card or anything else like that. And then once you've got it, 
This is Zenva. So I'm in the My Courses list here, so you can see what I've got from prior, prior bundles. So we've got the Web Development Bundle, and this one I'm sure we've got a couple of Phaser courses in from the past, so that's why I know we've seen a couple of these things before. There was an Introduction to Code Bundle, which also may have one or two of these courses, but I, I browsed through, and for the most part, most of what we're seeing here is new. So here is the tier you get. If you buy the maximum tier, these are the courses you're going to get. As you can see, there is progress tracking when you come in and out of a particular course, and and here are all of the courses available. For example, I'm going to drill down into the 2D RPG course and click. Click. There we go. All right. So you see here, broke it down into various different steps. So we've got uh, up to 14 steps between uh, two, 10 minutes, yeah, two to 10 minute long videos. We've got a total of 14 videos to go through there. And then we've got overview and course files. We'll get up to that in a second. So if you want to go ahead and play something, you just kind of click on the play icon. My internet is dog slow today. So I do apologize for that. Uh, they might be getting a little bit hit hard too, because of the, uh, the Zenva bundle on humble, but why are you not working? All right, one second, I'm going to check my internet. Okay, not sure if it's me or them. I think it's me to be honest, but here you can see one of the courses we've immediately started up. Uh, you've got, you can flip through the lessons right here. Uh, again, you can browse them that way. You can go to the next lesson, previous lesson. You can flag it as done. And then we can head over here for the course files. You see here we've got the assets that are used to make this example um, available here as well. I think I'm probably downloading them as we speak. So I'm gonna go ahead and back here to the courses home. And yeah, that's basically kind of it. So you can reset your course progress. You can have it so when you come back in, you can you know have it resume wherever you were. Again, the course files are here for download. So if you want to grab them, they are available in this manner. Uh, let me just check to see if I'm getting them. So yeah, here we go. So there's what was going on in the background. It was downloading them again and again while I wasn't paying attention. So we've got the assets and the complete project files. The assets, for example, if you open this up, you're going to see uh, font, sprites, and UI. And... There you go. So, and then the other one is going to give you the project files you need to follow along. Uh, we've got uh, the ability to ask for support from. The, oh no, that's for subscribers only. So never mind. Ignore that. Um, so yeah, that that is kind of the idea. So once again, I'll go back here to all courses. I guess it's my courses. Get to my courses. And yeah, that's it. So this is the Humble Game Development Bundle. You can see it in Tier 3. It's mostly new content, but again, do be sure to check what you have purchased already to make sure that you're not getting a duplicate. Uh, I can't really attest to the quality of the, the projects. I haven't really gone through them. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to put my beginner hat on in a very long time. I know a lot of this content already. Um, so uh, do check the comments down below. People will always give your opinion of these. And since these have been through Humble Bundles in the past, people have definitely had more hands-on time and experience with Zenva courses. If you've had good experiences or bad experience, whatever, if you have experiences to share, please let us know in the comments down below. So yeah, that is it. The Humble, what was the formal name of this guy? The Humble... Ah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, learning Game Coding and Development Bundle. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.